بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so already we discussed what is dhcp dhcp uh, basically stands for dynamic host configuration protocol uh, with this we will configure the dhcp server the client will send a request and get the ip address okay so let's try to understand the process okay so the second thing we'll try to understand the process here we call it as a dora process now the dora process we call it as a discover that is what uh, the dora discover offer request and acknowledgement so in short we call it as a dora process so how the process goes the first one is the discover option so in the discover option what happens is the client now the client can be any device it can be a pc or it can be a laptop or it can be a mobile phone or it can be an ip phone or it can be a uh, ip cameras connected in the network any device it can be in the lan it's going to send out a request the broadcast request where it tells this is my mac address it's going to tell its own mac address and then it is going to say i want an ip address so it's a request and this request actually goes as a broadcast now the meaning of broadcast means it will go to each and every device within that particular lan or within the vlan so if you know the vlan's concept the broadcast goes within the vlan or within the lan you know the broadcast domain concept in general so it's going to simply ask uh, can could anyone give me an ip address we call it as a dhcp a discover message a broadcast request so a simple example like whenever you connect your device any new device you connect it will immediately initiate this request now the broadcast request actually goes to each and every device everyone like uh, if i just try to make a network diagram let's say i got a router here and we got some devices all the devices and there is a new client i'm connecting and this is going to send a broadcast request the broadcast goes to everyone okay it will also go to the router it will go for every device in the lan and of course everyone ignores because they simply ignore saying that i don't really uh, bother about this broadcast because i'm not the dhcp server so it's going to send a discover message but now here we have the dhcp server here okay so we have the dhcp server who is also receiving this broadcast now this is really bothered to reply okay so now the dhcp uh, server is going to reply back as a unicast normally that saying that yes um, do you want an ip address something like this it will give the ip address any one ip from the pool of course on the dhcp server we are going to configure the pool and we are going to tell what will be the ip address it has to use or what is the network id and what is the range and what is the dns address what is the dhcp uh, what is the router address all this information we will be manually giving to the dhcp server so it's going to tell this is the ip address this is the subnet mask this is the default gateway this is the dns server all this information it will send out an offer message that is typically the second message the second message is uh, sending an offer back to the client Okay, mostly it will be unicast or broadcast so now uh, there is a possibility that you might have a multiple dhcp servers so now even though you are sending an offer message now the dhcp uh, client has to uh, acknowledge acknowledge is basically like uh, like the next before it acknowledges there basically there's a request so it's going to say yes i want to use this ip so so in the in the previous stage it just offered now it's up to you whether you accept or reject uh, because there is a possibility if you have a multiple dhcp servers it might reject so it depends uh, mostly it has to send a reply saying that yes i want to use that ip address so this is like a confirmation confirmation of uh, saying that you know i want to get this ip address finally it will Uh, send an acknowledgement now acknowledgement is like a confirmation that this ip has been allocated to this particular client and then it will write down that this ip is being given to this particular device let's say mac 1 mac 2 what, whatever the mac address okay and we can verify this uh, binding as well uh, in the cisco routers we use a command called show ip dhcp bindings where we can see uh, for which mac address what is the ip address given okay 
So not only just IP, it will give the IP address, D, uh, uh, DNS, uh, even the default gateway, this all address information. So if we just take this in a real scenario, a simple example, nowadays we use a Wi-Fi in our home. So if you're just going to your friend's house or to the relative, you connect your mobile phone to the Wi-Fi, you get the IP address. And this all process happens in the backend and the DHCP server will be your Wi-Fi router. Uh, mostly here as the same thing in my network also, the Wi-Fi router is uh, pre-configured with the DHCP, so which is responsible for assigning the IP address. Now in our course, again, we might be learning uh, how we can do the same thing on a Cisco router or a Cisco switch in a bigger scenarios, how it's going to be done. So this is the second thing we need to understand, the DORA process.